now integration by part rule let f is c1 g is a c2 sorry c2 then integration over 0 to t if g prime w s d w s so it should be f s g prime w s d w s is equal to f s g w s 0 to t minus integral 0 to t f prime s g w s d s minus half 0 to t f t g prime w s d s so in particular this is f s okay this is f s sorry. in particular for g s is equal to s we have integral 0 to t f s d w s is f t w t minus 0 to t a prime s w s d s and for g s sorry for f s is equal to 1 we have integral 0 to t g prime of w s d w s is equal to g of w t minus g of 0 minus half 0 to t g double prime of w s d s let xt is equal to ft g wt then by ito formula d of xt is f prime t g of wt dt plus ft g prime wt d wt plus half ft g prime wt times d wt square right so then this is f prime t 
g of w t dt plus f t g prime w t d w t plus half f t g double prime w t dt hence x t is equal to 0 to t f prime s g of w s d s plus 0 to t f s g prime w s d w s plus half 0 to t f s g double prime w s d s which implies the formula this formula example let so integral 0 to t e power w s d w s is equal to e power w t minus 1 minus half integral 0 to t e power w s d s This follows by applying the integration by parts formula by taking fs equal to 1 and gs equal to e power s example integration 0 to t e power s by 2 cos w s d w s is equal to e power t over 2 sin w t let f of s is equal to e power s by 2 and g prime of s is cos of s that is gs is equal to sine of s now apply integration but by parts formula to deduce the above expression mm -hmm. 